In this video, I want to go over what I usually do to uh, to process video that you know is a little that that, are, that is on the more difficult side. Uh, in this case, this is uh, some uh, walking with dinosaurs uh, video from straight from a DVD that I already ran it through uh, through Handbrake, basically only to bring it down to about 24 hertz or 24 frames per second. Uh, this will. You know, this will kind of bring down the processing times by, you know, 20-ish percent, which is good. Um, I already, I have a script that's called the interlaced. Uh, this, this footage is not, is it is not interlaced. It's progressive, so this isn't really necessary. But it's, this is more like, a, it, it'll, like, if it detects the interlacing, it'll remove it, so... It's up to you whether you, if you want to uh, take the video down to 24 frames per second, that's usually what I do. I chose this clip from Walking with Dinosaurs. This is the original quality. And I kind of want to show you my process for de for determining what model I'll use. I'm going to start with, you would think this is low quality footage. So, you know, maybe somebody might say, let's do low quality. Let's start low. So I'm going to hit preview. And I'm going to point out a couple of things that I find, you know, I, what I would look for. First of all, you want to look at the dinosaurs that's important or whatever you're looking at and look for, you know, if, if something looks a little too smoothed out, which I kind of looks uh, pretty smoothed out. Another thing to look at is the, the, the leaves back here, whether it looks, whether they maintain a little, if they look natural. Um, that is something I look for. So I, that that gave you. Uh, let's check out uh, medium here. Medium, I would say, looks a little better. Um, it's actually bringing out a little more detail in here. As you can see, the left side is pretty smoothed out, but in the right side is a little more detailed. However, if you look at the leaves back here, it just looks a little too overprocessed in my opinion. So, again, let's. Uh, I'm going to go to high quality, which is basically my go-to uh, one usually, because when you're doing this kind of thing, you want to like you want to try to balance your approach. You can't just be like, let's go balls to, or let, let's let's go full throttle on it. Sometimes it's just better overall. You get better results if you just, you know, you're a little conservative. I mean, I think this brings out a lot of detail on the dinosaur. It maintains, you know, pretty good detail throughout. And uh, I think it. Th this would be the one I would go with. Just to... But let's check out another scene here. Here, like this one. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna do I'm gonna start with uh, low again. So again, you know, one of the problems with these uh, with these models is that when there's a lot of like leaves and and trees and stuff, there isn't really much you can do about this. Uh, the kind of stuff uh, it's just there isn't enough detail here to like for the a model to, to parse out anything. I mean, yeah, you're getting a little more detail. Like you get this branch a little more, you're getting, you know, these branches over here and here, they look a little more detailed, but you're getting a lot of artifacting at the same time. So I wouldn't necessarily call this good. Uh, and also it's over smoothed out the dinosaur. You're losing out de potential detail. It's like pretty smoothed out. So again, I wouldn't necessarily just go with low. I mean, sometimes I just kind of run a bunch of these and like run, actually process, like see how I, I selected like uh, these little brackets here show, I selected this this portion here to like process to get like an idea and I actually process them and check them out like after they've been processed. So this is about a 30 second clip that gets processed. Um, so I'm gonna, let's try this one at medium quality. It looks a little, let's see. You know, they're still maintaining a good amount of detail here, but this area of the head looks pretty smoothed out as well. And the fo you know, the foliage back here doesn't look very natural. Like there, there's a lot of artifacting going on here. 
Um, it doesn't look... So I think, again, you got to strike a balance and, you know, uh, or also, you know, you may more you, you may, may be more interested in getting as much detail from the dinosaurs as possible instead of having like a balanced uh, picture, looking picture here. So I'm going to do high quality. Okay. So again, yeah, there's still, there's still some uh, like artifacts going on in the background if you zoom in a bit, but it's not, I would call this acceptable, but at the same time, you're getting, a, I feel like you're getting the most amount of detail from the, from the dinosaur because it's not so aggressive. It's not smoothing things out as much. So I think, I think this is the best, best one to take. I did, I did process some other options, which I, I also, some, sometimes I test out going to 720p and I'll use like Gaia high quality. Sometimes I'll take a like a, a pr approach where I'll do like a, I'll go up to 720p and then 1080p afterwards. But so here I process the clip up to 720p using Gaia high quality. This guy here, and you know this one. If you want the most. It, it does create slightly softer results, but it does give you, I feel like the most natural looking result for like pretty much everything. So again, I would take this one. Let me get a good, good one there. There we go. Let's do that. And I'll process this one to using Artemis high quality up to 1080p and then I'll hit preview. If you look at the leaves back here, they look uh, the most natural, the less, here, let's just, it just looks, in my opinion, it looks like the best, it, it's kind of like the best of both worlds. It's not so aggressive that it, that it, that it kind of, uh, makes things look artificial and like, but again, it's not, it, it's probably not extracting the most detail possible, but I think it looks the most natural. Let me try this one here. Again, the, 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 the trees back here look the most natural. The dinosaurs look pretty good as well. And you can see it did extract a little more. If you look at the shell, or I guess this is like a turtle shell or something, you can see a little more detail here. And in the trees, there's a little more detail. In the branch, you can see a little more of the branches, but it doesn't look, it looks, it looks pretty natural. The only, the only downside to this approach, it may provide to some eyes a slightly better picture. It's just the processing time. It'll take you, you got to go up to 720p and that's however long, maybe, maybe, maybe an hour or two to do. And then depending on your video card, by the way, I, I just posted a video uh, on, on different GPUs for this program. If you want to check it out, I'll put a, I'll put a link up here. And then you have to process it again. You go to you, so you're processing the video twice. So you know if you want, my personal advice is, if you want the most natural looking picture, this might be the way to go. Because so, a lot of times less is more when you're doing this. Um, you don't sometimes you just want to make it look. There's no like I've said this before. There's no way to take this video and make it look like a Blu-ray. It's just not going to happen. You can clean it up. You can make a look. You can make it look a lot better from the uh, from the uh, uh, from the original DVD. Uh, you can make it look a lot better, a lot more palatable to, to watch in big screens. Because when these videos were made, you know, m most people had like smaller televisions, and they look great. So I guess at the very end, I I'm gonna take. Uh, I'll take some of these videos and put like originals. I'll put the original and the and the process one side by side so you can see the difference and, and I'll kind of pronounce the winner.
Overall, I think the, the, the winner, as far as when you balance out processing time, the amount of time it takes to get you know, uh, to get the result, these results against uh, extracting a little more detail from the picture, which you can see is it's pretty noticeable here. Um, and it's not doing it in, a, in so of, a, of a, a natural way. I think it's just going straight from the original file to, to, um, to, to Artemis high quality. And honestly, that's that would be the one I would go with. It's the it's the one that gets it gets you really good results the quickest, and it, without having to go through the extra step of processing twice. Even though, and it you know honestly, it makes the the foliage looks um, looks okay. I would I wouldn't say that it looks you know it looks a little little over processed in some areas, but again, it's just like a blur. There's not really a lot of detail to go off on this side. But uh, the good thing about this process is it really does make the dinosaurs look really, really good. Uh, it brings out a lot of extra detail that, you know, uh, I think it's, I think that you don't even get when you process it twice going, f uh, going through Gaia high quality and then again uh, through Artemis high quality, 720 to 1080. So I want to say thank you for watching. If you have any questions about Topaz and uh, how I chose my models or any any kind of question uh, related to this program, please please leave them in the comments and I'll ask, answer them as best as I can. It would really help the channel out if you can like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.